Melissa and BJ have been at odds ever since her sister Belinda told her that he crossed the line. You see, Belinda says she received a text message from BJ asking to have sex in exchange for money. <laughs> However, he denies sending the messages and even says that Belinda may be impersonating him trying to ruin his relationship with Melissa. I am tired of like just being confused, feeling like, oh, my man, <laughs> as soon as my sister, you know, come around, he's undressing her with his ass, or he just, just, just disrespectful. And um, I see him looking at a lot of my other family members. And how, how long have you been with him? Seven years. Why do you stay with the guy? Basically, Steve, me, me and Robert, we've been through a lot with each other. Um, we've been homeless with each other. Uh, my father had cancer, and he basically was there with me throughout the chemotherapies and at the hospitals. And um, when my father died, he was there. Him and my daddy was real close. And, um, I love BJ. Well, I love Robert, but I'm not in love with him. Because who, who, who would want to sit around and have to worry? Me and my sister, we sitting with you, and I got to worry about if you doing this to my sister or if you, you know, texting her, talking to her, or anything. And that's my sister. She going to always be my sister. Do you remember the day then your sister told you that BJ texted her saying that he'd pay her for sex? Yes. Um, it was my sister and my cousin's birthday. Um, they had a party, and the whole time at the party, he just, his ass just focused on them. Just like his other females, and his ass just focused on my sister and my cousin. So by the end of the night, me and Robert, we went our separate ways, and my sister and my cousin went they separate ways. So we make it to the house at about 4.25. So he was trying to have sex with me, and I'm like, no, Robert, I don't feel like it right now. I'm too drunk. I go to sleep. I wake up the next morning at about 10 o'clock, I see a text message from Belinda, and she screenshot what Robert said. And I knew it was Robert because I seen the phone number, and he still it now. Oh, that wasn't me, that was somebody took my phone. So it's his phone number that's sending the text yes. message. And then Steve, who, who took his phone? If we land in the bed with each other, ain't nobody here with us. At 4.30 in the morning. Thank you. Guilty. Yes. Um, have you asked Robert in front of your sister, like both of them there? Yes, and I even told my sister before, like, you know, your lifestyle, you know, I feel like as a sister, if that's the type of lifestyle that you have, don't expose it to my man, okay? When you come around with your little clothes on, don't get to shaking your butt in front of him. Well, he knows she's a porn star, too. Right. So for some men, that might be a big turn on. It is, especially when your woman is not like that woman. Yeah, you're not a porn star. No, I'm not. Yeah. You don't think your sister slept with him, though, right? I, I don't think my sister would do it because he don't got no money. He offered her 250 though. Yeah, that was out of his Social Security check. Out of his Social Security check? Mm -hmm. Now, your sister says you have another guy you date, right? Let me get to that. Okay, Steve. Um... Basically, when I was going through the time with my father dying and my father did die, this other man was verbally and emotionally there for me. When Robert left me, like, not even 10 days after me burying my daddy when I needed him. So the man who that I decided to go and chill with, Robert knew about him. And he still won't leave, and he's still not going to leave because he a liar. Let's meet BJ. <laughs> right, so you're going to keep on lying. You just this is pointless. No, no, it's not pointless. All you not? have to do is stop lying. If you stop lying you. and tell what the truth, we wouldn't have to go through this. What you lie? Because you, because you are scared. You're scared I'm going I'm to scared. beat you. <laughs> I'm not scared. Listen to me, yes. Man, I'm not scared. Of this, this is why he laughed. I'm not scared, Steve. Steve. He's scared. She... He lied about everything. I told you, he's a compulsive liar. He will lie. He lied to you right now. Look at him. <laughs> what am I lying about? Everything. No, you lied I'm about. Not. I bet you probably lied about your age. They didn't ask me my age. Uh huh. No, I'm just that you, BJ. We're not gonna do this. You need to tell the truth. 
About and we, what? About everything. I well, you, we that, don't that, see. That, 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 did we, you, we don't see. Did, don't worry did, about did it. Did you know. try to pay her sister for no. sex? No, I, I mean, not. but the, 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 the text <laughs> That's message. That's not me. But it came from your we phone. We was all drunk. The ghost, I don't know where it came the from. The ghost of Christmas Day. It came from your phone. I didn't have my phone. Who had it, BJ? I don't know who had the phone. Me and you was the only people in the house. We was all drinking that night. Yeah. The text came when me and you went no. home and went to sleep. The text, know what? How? I and went I to not... sleep before you. You texted no, us. No, no, no. I never had my phone. It could have been you... somebody else playing on the phone, texting But, but the phone if you're going home at 4.30 in the morning, the, then the text after 4.30 goes to the sister from your phone. How do you explain that? Who had your phone? Uh, Anybody could have had it. I don't have no lock on my phone. The ghost, well, when, you, when you woke up the next day, where was your phone? She had it. Who had it? Melissa. She had it? Yeah. So, so I'm texting think, Belinda. Do you think she was making the texts? I don't know, because we was drinking. So I don't know who, had, who yeah. texted. Well, you know, when we drink, what do we do? Tell the truth. No, we do stupid things. <laughs> Basically. You do stupid things you when you're of, drinking, right? Stupid stuff Sometimes you, you might be like, hey, baby, I want some of that, right? <laughs> Right? Just Beyond. say yes, Steve. Right. It could have been. Yes. Okay. So you admit that you did send the text. Or did you just thought it was easy because she be shaking it and doing her thing? Well, you, you thought, thought she's a porn star. <laughs> Two fifty <laughs> might be a decent that lady price. That don't like me, no way. What's that? Her sister don't like me. Yeah, but you were hoping that you could make a transaction. I don't I'm... back. I don't back. <laughs> Steve. Ooh, we. Yeah, mm. but mm. if you're drinking, mm. you might spend a few bucks. Mm. That's it depends on how drunk I get. Yes, and you were drunk that night, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, okay. Do you think she cheats on you? Yeah. You do. All right, let's meet your sister, Belinda. Oh, boom. Mad so what DJ. I got to say to you is, I'm going to just tell you this like this. I feel like it's your lifestyle that even made him do it. I feel like when you come around, you know, you have on your little things, you make me uncomfortable, and you keep him watching. That's the whole thing. It's like he 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 he's your fan, and I don't want to. I, I know I know for sure that you are not trying to have sex with him, and I know for sure that you did not send the message from his phone to yourself. Maybe he's just a big fan of your work. I mean, yeah, he is, um, and I feel like he the reason why me and my sister steady keep falling out. I mean, yeah, I get her about how I be dressing, but I'm dressing for me. It's not my fault right. that he, you know. Right fanned out, whatever like that, but why would I fake have somebody text me saying, like, at, at least I'd make the dollar amount a decent price. It wouldn't be $250. Right. i would probably say, like, $1,000 or two something. $250 is too low. Because that, That's too said, low because I, I would have said I, I, $150 or something. Then, Matt, may you not, Steve, I done heard from other people, family members, other people, oh, he, he say he had sex with my sister, her ain't no good, blah, 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 blah. Up with them, right? No, <laughs> but but I tricked them one day. I say, BJ, if you give me five thousand dollars, I'll probably consider it. And he was like, Yeah, I'm gonna go to Wisconsin. I'm gonna make it. See, and this she, this this is what lying. this is what the told Why would me. you have to go to Wisconsin to make it? That's where you get money at. <laughs> That's what the other woman at too, Steve. Yeah. He ain't tell you about that. Right. It's another I don't woman. Have no other woman. A year old. I don't know other woman, Steve. She lying. And, no, that girl and she called, called us, me. She called yeah. me all type of big black and, and told me I was I'm a stripper a man hoe. and all all type of stuff. Look, Steve, this man lied all day long. Okay, just look look at him, Steve. I'm lying. You were just you look lying. at the, you were look at me and tell me I'm and lying. You, you laughing okay. right? But now. listen, we don't want to do this. Whether you slept with her or not, I'm gonna believe you. Okay, mm -hmm. that you don't. No, that's not. But fair, you got. Steve. But you have to say to me, come on, Steve. Yes. I was drunk. I texted her. I'm Steve, sorry. I can't say that because I don't remember. Because it's a liar. But, but I okay, don't, I don't okay. remember. You don't remember. But you could say it's a possibility, Steve. Come on. It could get, be. Go. It, Thank you. <laughs> girl. What's next, Steve? Because I'm ready to punch him. Because <laughs> I know he lying. This is it's serious because for me, I'm, I'm always getting reminded every day of what I do with my personal life. So, yeah. with this from him, my, no, yes, he's yeah. very, yes, he's yes, very verbally day. abusive. Like his mouth is something else. Have you ever had sexual physical Ooh. contact with BJ? You answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with BJ? You answered no. Uh, the result of your lie detector test is inconclusive. 
Mm. Ooh. You know what that means? That Just means we that couldn't mean, get a result. You hear me? That means y'all. No. Yes, no. it do. No, it doesn't. What it means, Steve? Tell it me. Means, I'm gonna knock his ass out. It means I'm. Well, that was her test. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. And tell me if I'm wrong. I'm just guessing here. Probably some drugs involved, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. That's one reason. I see. It's marijuana. okay. Watch yeah. this. Don't okay, worry, BJ, you took it. Since in a relationship with Melissa, have you had sexual physical contact with any other woman? He answered no. Since in a relationship with Melissa, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? He answered no. Have you ever had sexual physical contact with Belinda? He answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Belinda? He answered no. So those four questions, it came back all the same. It came back that BJ told the truth. Okay. Did you, did you send Belinda the text messages asking her for sex in exchange for money? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. I mean, saying, listen, I don't, nobody I don't, in their right don't. mind doesn't believe that he didn't send the messages. You go home at 3 at 4.30 in the morning. You both go into bed. She passes out. You're still drunk. You still want some sex. You texted her. No. Listen, man, you does it make you a bad guy? No. Does it make you a good boyfriend? No. So, listen, I'm not going to beat you up for sending a message I to am. a porn star saying, <laughs> <laughs> damn. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. But he called me too. I talked so, to him. So you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I, and listen, I didn't even know what the text results, uh, test results were. I knew you sent the text message. Nobody. I mean, come on. <laughs> Nobody's an idiot man, here. So. Melissa took a lot of text. Oh Lord, how much? We asked her since being in a relationship with BJ, have you had sexual physical contact with any other men besides the one he knows about? And she said yes. In the past seven years, she admits to sexual contact with three additional people. Oh. Since being in a relationship with BJ, I'm have, honest, though. have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides the one he knows about? She answered no, and she told the truth. Hmm. He don't care. Listen to me. He do not care. Right, cause that's the, he, he's just, worried, he worried about right now. Because that's why he be trying yeah, to mess with me and everybody else because he's trying to get payback yeah. from what she be doing. But he so don't he, even he don't yeah, even understand. Hard, you ran man. me to hard this hard man. To mess with nobody. Look, verbal abuse is real. You don't sit back and talk to your woman any type of way. And then when she meets somebody else, oh, hey, beautiful. How you doing? Just all this opening up car doors and hey, stuff Steve. for you. He never did. This man never <laughs> took me out in seven years. We never been nowhere to a show or nothing. Why y'all think I barely had pictures of me and him? Steve, can I say something? Yeah, sure. please. Okay, look. I was in jail. Hmm. I was incarcerated. Every time that I call, I don't hear females around. You I hear dudes. I multiple dudes. Yeah. So, as being a man, what is you supposed to think? Okay. And you know a Let history. Let me ask you this, though. It doesn't seem like either one of you take the relationship between the two of you very Seriously. seriously. Okay. What's the big deal of splitting up? It's not it's like not, you're married. It's it not like you have deal. kids. It's not a big deal. So he what do you want? Leave. What do you want to do? I don't right, right now. I don't know what I want to he do. He ain't leaving. What do you want to do? I'm. You know what? Since he passed the lab detector the test, I'm. A, I'm gonna let him breathe because I was gonna beat him up. Steve. Yeah. Do you hear me? I'm gonna let him breathe. But we don't want to do that. But since he wanna, you know, play with my family, I'm gonna play with his. I'm gonna go see what his cousin like. Yeah. Keep it in the family. Yeah. Good luck, dude. Good luck, yeah. Right. Thanks for coming out. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Thanks,